Hi, my name is Jake, and I am a bookish drummer. So for this video, I will be doing a mini book haul slash retail therapy. And the reason why it's retail therapy is that I just, uh, not just, but I uh, dropped off uh, Stacy, my fiance, at the airport this morning. She's on her way back home to Canada. And I was feeling very sad today. And I also had to deal with AAA because I was going to drive her to the airport in my mom's car because it's a lot nicer car, but... Something happened with the the keyhole, and I couldn't. We couldn't even get the damn thing open, so I had to drive her in my old ass car, and it was a little stressful. And then obviously saying goodbye was very hard to do. I will see her again in August, but I needed a little a little bit of retail therapy after all that. So basically, what I did was I went to my local used bookstore, Paperbacks Inc., and I haven't been there in like a few months or so, and they've been doing some redecorating. It looks very nice, and I got some books there. Not a lot. It's a mini book haul. I have seven books. I have, uh, I think, three standalones, as far as I know, uh, and then a trilogy, a fantasy trilogy, and then a mystery book. So stay tuned for all of that, and enough of the preamble. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So let's go ahead and start with the standalones, or what I believe to be standalones. Uh, the first one that I saw that caught my eye was Deborah Webb's The Lies We Tell. And I think I've recognized this author from something I don't exactly remember, but what caught my eye was the first uh, summary, or the first paragraph in the summary. Dr. Rowan Dupont knows a serial killer is coming for her. Julian Addington has been waiting watching, and it's only a matter of time before he strikes. But what Julian doesn't know is that Rowan is ready for him, and more than anything, she wants answers. How well did the depraved killer actually know her mother, and how many lives have been, lies have been spun in the years since she took her own life? It sounds pretty interesting, and for a couple of bucks, it's worth it. If I don't end up reading it, whatever, but I, I, I do think that would be an interesting book to read. Another one I found in the horror section looks like an older book. I'm not sure what year, but I'll check. It's called Moth to the Flame by Kathleen, uh, oh god, how do you say that last name? Doherty? Doherty? I, I don't know. But it looks pretty cool, Moth to the Flame, and the back of it is like, you know, like, you're getting warmer, you're getting hotter, you're burning up, so... It, it, it looks pretty cool. It looks kind of like Dean Kuntzy, maybe. <laughs> a little a little Kuntzy. <laughs> uh, and it says, uh, you're getting warmer. Charlie never dreamed her work on the top secret project, Demon. It's probably, it's not a good project to be working on, probably. <laughs> it would be so dangerous. Really? <laughs> uh, driving her to the very edge of sanity and beyond. Worse yet, she never imagined Demon would fall into the hands of a madman. You're getting hotter. Now innocent people across the world are dying, consumed by a mysterious burst of flames. Charlie knows it's the work of demon, and she's determined to trace the killer. You're burning up. The closer she gets, the more he kills. No matter what it takes, she must find him and stop him, unless he finds her first. Moth to the flame. I wonder if this was made into a movie. I don't know. I'm also going to look up what year this was published in. Uh, 91, so before I was born, a few years. Yeah, I'll check it out, maybe. I have a ton of books already, but who knows. And this one really caught my eye, because it was with a bunch of paperbacks, like, and I can only see the spine. So this is what I saw. It says Stranded, and then I saw Tor, so I was like, oh, maybe this is like a sci-fi book. But, um, and this is the cover of it, the damn sticker on it. But it's Stranded by Bracken McLeod. 
something. Uh, the back of it, the summary sounds really promising. When she shipped out, Noah, or when he, sorry, when he shipped out, Noah Cabot wanted only to keep his head down, do the job, and deliver on his promise to return home with a paycheck. But life on board the Arctic Promise is tougher than he ever imagined, and it's getting worse. After a punishing storm nearly wrecks the ship, they are blown into a blinding fog in an uncertain destination. At the same time, everyone begins to fall prey to a mysterious illness, dot, 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 everyone except Noah. The captain presses on, but soon accomplishes what the storm could not, wrecking the engines, trapping them in the ice. And then the shadows come alive. Now with the men getting sicker and the inevitability of a frozen death looming, Noah is left with no choice but to lead the few sailors left standing on a perilous journey toward a distant shape on the horizon. Across a frozen void, he leads them toward an uncertain future while fighting for their lives against the elements the ghost of the past, and ultimately, themselves. So yeah, it kind of sounds like it's going to be a shorter version of that Dan Simmons book. Um, oh god, The Terror. I tried to read that book, but so many details. Uh, it was too long for me. But this one might be like a more kind of condensed version of that. So uh, I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I also found in the used fantasy section a trilogy of fantasy books. They might be self-pub, they might not be, I'm not quite sure. Uh, they look self-pub to me. So I will show them to y'all. Uh, the first book, uh, oh yeah, by the way, this is the Erdemann Honor Series trilogy, I think. And book one is called The King's Sword. Also, this is by C.J. Brightly. Book two is called A Cold Wind. And then book three is called Honor's Air. So yeah, I figured they already had them all there. Uh, I might as well just get the whole thing while it's cheap. And it, it always sucks too when you go to a used bookstore and you find something cool, but then you realize, oh, they only have like book two and three. Someone took book one. And I didn't want to be that guy who only took book one. So I took all three of them. Uh, it sounds pretty promising. I'll read you the back of book one at least. Um, a disillusioned soldier, a spoiled, untried prince, a coop that threatens the country they both love. When retired soldier Kimmin finds the young pr prince Haken fleeing an attempt assassination, he reluctantly takes the role of a mentor and guardian. Keeping the prince alive is challenging enough. Making him a man is harder. As usurper Vider tightens his grip on power, Kimmin wrestles with questions of duty and honor. What if the prince isn't the best ruler after all? Invasion looms, and Kimmin's decisions will shape the fate of a nation. What will he sacrifice for friendship and honor? So yeah, a little cheap uh, self-pub fantasy. Uh, might give it a try one of these days. I think the first two books are on Scribd, so that'd be a good immersion reading. Uh, not the third book, for some reason. But... I will give it a shot. Maybe Stacy will be interested in this as well. We'll see, because she's probably not going to be too interested in the other books I just showed. And then finally, I mentioned that I bought kind of a mystery book, uh, kind of like a, a, what are they called? Blind Date with the Book. I, I don't know why I was blanking on that. It's a it's a blind date with the book. I paid like, like four or five dollars for this. Um, essentially, I don't know what book this is, but all, all I know is that it's a mystery. So... I don't know what it is, and y'all are going to find out uh, with me. Let's see if this comes apart. Oh, yep, just like that. Okay. And then I just got to open it up, and hopefully it's a book that I'm interested in and that I haven't read before and that I don't already own. Here, why, why don't you guys find out before I do? Is it something I'm going to like? Is it something... Wait. Is the cover? Yeah. Yeah. What is this book? Am I gonna like it? Do I have I already read it? Do I already own it? All right, let's open it up. Oh. Oh, I had it upside down. Sorry, y'all. Uh, it's Tana French's The Trespasser. I've never heard of this. I think I've heard of the author, but I've never read any of her books. All right. This is a good, this is a good deal then. And it looks like it's in fairly good condition. Little scrapes here and there, but yeah. 
pretty much a brand new paperback for like four bucks. All right. So what is this about? Being on the murder squad is nothing like Detective Antoinette, Antoinette Conway dreamed it would be. Aside from her partner, Stephen Maureen, or Morin, her working life is a stream of thankless cases and harassment. Their new case looks like yet another by-the-numbers lover's quarrel gone bad. Aslan Murray is blonde, pretty, and dead. <laughs> That's a hell of a dating profile. There's nothing unusual about her, except that Antoinette's seen her somewhere before, and that her death won't be, or won't stay in its neat by the numbers box. Other detectives are trying to push Antoinette and Steve into arresting Aislinn's boyfriend fast. Aislinn's friend is hinting that she knew Aislinn was in danger, and everything they find out about Aislinn takes her further from the glossy, passive doll she seemed to be. Is this case another step in the campaign to force Antoinette off the squad, or are there darker currents flowing beneath its polished surface? Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a go. All right, well, uh, glad I only paid four bucks for it. Uh, and I'm glad it wasn't a book that I've already owned or haven't read before. So, yay, that's a win-win. All right, so that's, uh, that's seven books that I randomly picked up at my local used bookstore. And like I said, I needed a little retail therapy after... Uh, dropping Stacy off and being a sad boy about that and then also dealing with my mom's car and AAA. That's a whole other story. But yeah, basically, that's my mini book haul. Usually my book hauls are much bigger than this. But uh, yeah, you guys get a mini book haul and also you get me posing for the thumbnail. <laughs> All right. So those are all the books in my mini book haul. Have you read any of these books? I'd be very interested to see if you've read any of these books. If you have, please comment down below. Let me know which one I should read first. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day. And if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, go subscribe to the Bookish Drummer here right now. And then also go join the Bookish Drummer Discord and sign up for the Battle of the Bands Readathon that'll be taking place in the month of July a readathon that will only be taking place on the Bookish Drummer Discord. And join Team Green Day, the best team. And I have my Amazon wish list and my Patreon page linked down below. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick mini book haul slash retail therapy. And join me in the next video. Um, bye. <laughs>